Well, let's talk about some of those guys. So, top shelf, Justin Verlander, Jacob deGrom, Carlos Rodon is out there, Nathan Avaldi, who the Yankees obviously have familiarity with, uh, Chris Bassett, and their former player, Jamison Tyone. There's also the Japanese player, Kone Senga, who will be 30 coming up next season. Pitched very well in Japan last year. Flash, as you look at that, do you, would you think Yankees first here if they went after somebody? A Verlander de Grand, that's a lot of money. Or do they maybe look at one of those other players? Yeah, maybe one of the other players. And obviously, a lot of this is going to hinge on what Aaron Judge does and the financial commitment to him. Listen, Justin Verlander is a freak of nature. What he's done at an advanced age, winning another Cy Young Award. I just don't know if the Yankees would want to get into a commitment of two, maybe three years for a guy like Verlander. Of course, you would love to have him in your rotation. Maybe it's if it's a one-year, one with an option, something like that. But there are some other names that are intriguing there. Evaldi is an intriguing guy. Uh, you look at Jamison Tyone, who has proved now that he can pitch at the big league level, be successful, eat up innings. I expect him to get a very nice offer from some organization. I don't know if it's going to be from the Yankees. Yankees did not give him the qualifying offer of about $19.5 million, so they did not value him to that length on a one-year deal.